Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here? What we are given here, let's look at this as equation one and this as equation two. And from equation one, what we have, which is x plus y equals to 10. From here, we make y a subject by taking x to your side. And we have y equals to 10 minus x. And this we label as equation 3. Then also from equation 2, which is x times y equals to 10. From here, we substitute equation 3 here. That is, this becomes x times y, which is now 10 minus x, then equals to 10 here. Then next step, x open this bracket. This becomes 10x minus x squared equals to 10 on this side then here we rearrange this side and we have minus x squared plus 10x then we can take 10 to this side we call minus 10 now equals to 0 here and next step here we multiply through by minus 1 multiply through by minus 1 that is here Minus 10 is minus as plus, so we have x squared. Then here become minus 10x. So here become plus 10, which is t equals to 0 on this side. And here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 10, and c equals to 10. And applying the quadratic formula here, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And what we have becomes x equals to minus minus 10 plus or minus square root of minus 10 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10 then all over 2 times 1 that is this becomes x equals to minus times minus that's plus and we have plus 10 plus or minus square root of minus 10 squared that's 100 then minus 4 times 1 times 10 that's 40 then all over 2 here, which implies we have x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 100 minus 40, that's 60, then over 2 here. Next day, we can write 60 as 4 times 15. Then, what we have here now becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 4 times 15, then all over 2. And next step, when we have root a times b, we can separate this as root a times root b, which implies here we have x equals to 10 plus or minus root 4 times root 15 over 2. That is, this becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus root 4, that's 2, then root 15, all over 2. And also here, 2 is common. When we factor it out, we have x equals to 2 into brackets, 5 plus or minus root 15, left inside, then over 2 here. And also here, 2 cancelled each other. We have x equals to 5 plus or minus root 15, left which implies here we have two possible values of x that is the first one x1 equals to 5 plus root 15 and the second one x2 we have 5 minus root 15 then next step we get the corresponding value of y that is from the relation which is y equals to 10 minus x then yeah y1 equals to 10 minus x1 which is 
5 plus root 15. That is here, minus open this bracket. We have y1 now equals to 10 minus 5, then minus root 15. That is here, we have y1 equals to 10 minus 5, that's t5, then minus root 15. And the first set of solution here in form of x1 from our y1 is now equals to x1. That's 5 plus root 15. Then, comma, y1, which is 5 minus root 15. Then, also, we get the corresponding value of x2, which is y2. And we have y2 equals to, using this same relation here, this becomes 10 minus x2, which is 5 minus root 15 here. Then this becomes y2 equals to 10 minus 5, then plus root 15. That is y2 equals to 10 minus 5, that's 5, then plus root 15. And the second set of solution here in form of x2 comma y2 is then equals to x2, that's 5 minus root 15. Then comma y2 that's 5 plus root 15. And when we look at this solution here, we discover that x1 here, same thing as y2 here. That is the value of x similar to value of y here. And also the value of y here, same thing as the value of x here. Then from what we have here now, we can check if this solution here satisfies these two given equations. Now we can substitute from equation 1, we have x plus y equals to 10. Now, we can use the first solution here. That is, we have x, which is 5 plus root 15, plus y, which is 5 minus root 15. Is this equals to 10 on this side? Then, here, we have root 15 minus root 15. This cancel out and we are left with 5 plus 5. Is this equals to 10 on this side? And 5 plus 5 here is of course 10, which is equals to 10 here. Hence we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, these two solutions here we satisfy the first equation. Now for this equation 2 here. What we have in equation 2, that's x times y equals to 10. Now, we can still use the first solution here. x, that's 5 plus root 15, then times y, which is 5 minus root 15. Then, is it equals to 10 on this side? Then, from here, this follows. When we have a plus b, into bracket, then open bracket a minus b, which is same thing as a square minus b square. Then this follows this, and we have 5 square minus root 15 squared. Is it equals to 10 on this side? And 5 squared, 5 times 5, that's 25 minus here, yeah, square cancel square root, that's 15. Is it equals to 10 on this side? Then 25 minus 15, that's of course 10, which is equals to 10 on this side. Then left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, these two solutions also satisfy the second equation. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.